Okay, YouTube, it is time. I have to put together this couch that I got from Amazon. Now, it came in two boxes, actually. Both boxes were about this size, you know, a square, a rectangle like that, and about that long. Two boxes. And it comes with a bunch of pieces, parts, legs, screws, and bolts and stuff. You can put it together by yourself. It's a pretty stylish couch, I can't wait to have it. So here's what comes in the box. So first of all, here's what comes in one box. You have this piece right here, which is the which is the chase area. And I believe this one is part of the, the regular couch part, which looks like this. It's not very heavy. And the other part looks like this. And this is the, the back of it. And you can put the armrest on whichever side you want because you can either have the chase, whatever, I think that's what it's called, on the left or the right, which is really convenient. I just have to figure out how to do it. So I think I'm gonna lay it out more like that. I want to be able to lay down that side and have it next to the, um, the window. And this side is all open area. One thing I'm thinking about with this couch though is that since it is light, how strong is it gonna be? Will it feel strong enough? So we'll see. Here are the other pieces that come with it. We have cushion. Pause for the phone. All right, I'm back. So I was going through the pieces that come with it. So I've got the main pieces there. Looks ready to go, right? All right, I'm done. Just kidding. I have a lot of work to do. And there's like two of these boxes with legs and tools and stuff inside. And this looks, this is like the arm. <clears throat> this goes on the side. <clears throat> this part's stuck to it. So I go with one of them, and there's another one back there. So I've got two, got two armrests. So I guess let's get to building it. Good grief. Step one, what is it? I guess I have to choose if I'm gonna put it on the left or the right. I'm gonna put it on the right. So before assembly, open the box on the seat cushion and take out the legs and hardware. Okay. Step one, insert three piece threaded rod and one piece connecting bolt into the arm. Insert one piece connecting bolt H5 into the connecting hardware holes on the chase. Is that how you say it, chase? I think that's how you say it, chase. Okay, so that's step one. So for, so for step one, I need to go get the big piece over there and it's a company piece, which is A and B. A and B. Okay, so here I've got A and B. Let's start with B. So I have to open up one of these boxes. Hardware, okay? Yeah, so inside of there, you've got some bolts, screwdrivers, nuts. And in this box, looks like it's just the legs. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so in that box, there are four legs and that bag of goodies. Hardware. H4 looks like that, so it has the threads on both ends, and H5 has the thread on one end. So I'm flipping this to the same orientation that I, I have it here in the image, it'll help. So I've got one right here, and H4 goes right up here, which is this one. Thread isn't really going in that easy. Okay, I just have to like bust through something. And now it's screwing in. 1H5 goes down here. Now I need to go over here and go to the side that I want to put that armrest on, which is going to be this side. This is going to be the end of it. It's telling me to put one up here in the middle, one over here in the middle. And these are H5s. So I'll just screw it into there. Then here's the other panel that shows me exactly where I'm supposed to go. Align bolt with the assembling holes, then assemble the arm into the chase by three pieces, H3, H1, and H2. Use open end wrench to tighten, which I've got. 
Okay, so I need to look up what H3, 1, and 2, right? H3 is the nut. 1 is that other thing, the washer. 2 is a bigger washer, I guess. Flip it over. And then I can unzip this so I can get to where the holes are that I can screw into. See, I'm running into an issue now. So I thought it was reversible, but it doesn't seem that it is. Maybe the chase has to be on the left, or is there a way I can modify that? So is it possible that the chase can only go on the left side, or can I modify that to make it possible? Will it work to flip E and B, put them on different sides? I don't know. I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. So this is fitting nicely on the wrong side. No question. <clears throat> if that's the case, then this should fit on this side. I'm totally skipping around steps, but it might work. And it might not. So I'm getting over here so I can get a good angle at this. So I want this to go in there. It's not that easy to do as well, because you have to sort of battle with the cushions. The cushions can't come off temporarily, so it makes it really hard to actually get this where it's supposed to be. So I do see that these definitely are mirror images, this side and that side way over there. Then that comes out. Sort of seems like it's a two-person job. It'd be worlds easier if I could take that pad off of there. If I'm looking down here, then I can find the hole and lead it, guide it. They are in place. Whew. And the order it tells me to go is this one, then this one, then that one. Two, three. And here's the wrench. I don't know how hard I want to twist this because I don't know how strong the wood is. It appears we're tight and strong on this side. I'm totally doing this backwards, but I think that's how it has to be done. I'll go ahead and put the legs on it for now. Haha, <laughs> very funny. You have to take these off first. I was like, why is that not screwing in there? One. Five. Close this up. Okay. So this side of the whole couch looks pretty complete. Now I have to get back to that one. I'll be honest, it's not the dirtiest of couches, but 600 bucks, I guess, isn't that much money for a couch, right? All right, so now what I want to try doing is I want to put this piece over on this side. So I would just follow the same directions I was doing before. So I have the same pieces in this other hardware kit. I'm just basically flipping everything backwards. So I know three of these go into there. Then we take one of these, put it up here. And we should be able to just lay this on top of here, opposite of how the other one was. So it says here both boxes do have three nuts, three nuts, three nuts. I'm really hoping I miss placed it or something. I just don't know what it is right now. This sucks. So I've, I've come to the conclusion they are not there. They did not come in the kit. I'm missing three nuts, so I cannot totally fasten this without those. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I have to go find some. So the plan of action. It feels okay. Plan of action. I will go to the store tomorrow and buy some nuts of that size. What else can I do? As far as how it feels, uh, it's fine. It's a couch. Not like the most plush, comfy couch that you can ever find, but for 600 bucks on Amazon. And it's, it looks pretty, you know, decently stylish. It fits the room. It'll be fine. The feet are a little slidey. 
I, there might be another piece that I'm missing. Let's see. So there's nothing on instructions to put on the bottom of these. There's no, no part. It's like a plastic. It's not too bad, but I'd rather have some kind of rubber down there so I don't scratch up the floor. So I'll probably get something like that as well at Home Depot tomorrow while I'm getting those nuts that I'm missing. I also noticed that I forgot to put these in between the legs and where you screw it in. So I'm going to do that right now, but it's not something that's hugely important, but it might make it a little bit softer in some way. Okay, so shall we continue? It's the next day, so it took me a minute to remember where I was. And now I remember I was right here and I needed to put these bolts to attach this correctly. Fortunately, it stayed standing up, didn't move, no one moved it, because no one was here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt these in. I decided it'll be easier from this side. But one thing I'm noticing is that, although I do have the right thread, I got the wrong size, so it's not fitting in here, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to tighten it. So we've got a hand tight, this is the wrong size. All right, so it'll go around a little bit. It's turning. Or they could have just gave me the right amount of nuts. That'd be easier. So the first one I was able to tighten, the other ones I had the hand tighten, which sucks. What's next? What are the instructions? Enough of these things. I believe now I'm on step six. So in that step, what I do, that's where I use these. I need to screw them in to one side and then it just hooks into the other side. One, two, close these up. We're done with that, as good as it gets. Oh wait, I need legs. Four. While I was at Home Depot, I also got a bunch of these stick on the bottom, so I'll just put them there right now. But quite honestly, I don't like the cups. I don't like stuff like this, it sucks. I'd rather have something on the bottom, but these are not gonna work for it. Something else is good. These don't work. Against all odds, I have a couch. Now when sitting on it, everything's connected. It seems stable enough. These are not that stable. See that jams into that, that hole. It's not the best, but can't lean on it, can't chill up with it. Yeah, this is fine. Does this feel? This is for laying down, right? I'm gonna lay here and watch TV. Oh, this is freaking fine. This feels fine. So these are a little bit hard, but it's fine. I feel good. I'm happy. Now, the Amazon packaging was missing some parts. That made me delay a day, go to Home Depot, get those parts. I got the wrong size nut. It was a tiny bit too big for the wrench they provide because they do not provide the size of the nuts. I had to like put it in the screw thing to see what size it was, but I couldn't determine, you know, the outside of the shell of it very well. So I got a slightly wrong size. Amazon, $600 couch. And also, thanks for watching. And please subscribe if you liked watching this. It was entertaining. Spent a lot of time editing it and making it. Um, it sort of, I figure it gives you a preview of what it is like to buy a couch on Amazon if you've never done it before, and the quality of this particular one. Yeah, thanks.